So today just out at Oropi Mountain Bike Park, which is Tauranga's oldest mountain bike park. So there's uh, about 7, 8k of loops here, which you can share with the mountain bikers. It is open for trail running, so let's go and check it out. We're just beginning at the on entry track and come in from the car park, which is on Oropi Road. There's two car parks you can use, the other one's up off Joyce Road, which we'll get to at the top of the trail, but beginning here and head on down. There we go, trail dogs off. Pretty good on the downhills. Yeah, he's pretty good at tripping you up too. First main intersection here where you've actually got to be a little bit careful of oncoming bikes, whether the tracks merge together here. Quick look up. I've never had any issues there, but you, you never know. I suppose just be a little bit mindful that this is their stomping ground. Called the pines here, which is a little bit of an uphill. Long or short, we'll get along. As you can see, Troll Dog's pretty competitive. He uh, normally does pretty well in his age group. He's only about 18 months old. Um, not really a whole lot of competition in his age group, to be honest. But usually he's first up the hill. Leads most of the way. Gets a bit tired at the tail end. And sort of lies by me showing him the way sometimes as well. Don't you, Troll Dog? Hey? What's going on here? Hey? Good boy. Alright, off we go. Off you go. Oh, he's going to take the gold. Passes trail dog at the top. Scoots around the corner. And there he is. Gold medal. He's responsible for most of Tauranga's drinking water, which is coming up to the processing plant here. Just before we head across the bridge. Just getting up through onto Thomas Loop. Got a little bit of extra distance on. It would be fair to say that trail dog 
isn't a subscriber to wild things tends to make up his own tracks takes a few shortcuts spends a lot of time sniffing don't think running the real reason he comes out I think he's a bit more of an explorer Not so interesting how many k's he gets under the belt just how much smell he gets underneath the nose but he's a, he's a good running companion when he's paying attention and not chasing mountain bikes or otherwise just being a pain likes the odd drink there's a little spot for him to have a little to slake his thirst Just heading up to the little incline here, up to the Joyce Road car park. As I said, it's one of the two car parks you can access or if you mountain bike from. This one's the smaller of the two. Probably got room for parking for about four cars. But the other one, you know, there's probably room for 30 odd cars. And unless you're up here on a, you know, a real busy Sunday afternoon or during summer, I think Thursday night they have quite a few people here so as long as you're not up then you know you'll get a park in that main car park pretty easy enough but uh you know, we'll just look up the top here what are you puffing for come on Trail dog's also good for breaking the wind, or in breaking wind, in this case, clearing the track from out in front, you know, in case there's any stray birds, you can chase them off, a bit of vermin. Pretty good at guarding, you know, he's a pretty handy dog to have really. You know, the downside is he will stop unannounced on the track often, cause you to trip up he'll barge past you he's not a particularly polite dog so he'll often barge past you on the trails again causing you to trip up so he's not sort of a dog you'd want necessarily on a on a coastal track with big drops but up around this mountain bike park he's pretty handy doesn't give the mountain bikers too much grief if he starts getting a bit frisky I usually just chuck him on a leash don't I trail dog doesn't really listen to me much either. Not too much, not too many hills on this track. Usually, what there is is short and sharp. No real long climbs, but you still get back. You feel like you have done a bit of hill work. Go on, pup. Come up.
So because the trail is so tight and winding, and because there's a lot of different tracks that you can take, you know, the best idea is to download the, the trail guide of Wild Things Rock Club, either the GPX or the actual trail notes themselves. Now, probably the trail notes because the GPX, because it's so winding and sort of crosses over so many different other uh, trails, you know, getting a good handle on exactly where it goes isn't as straightforward as you would otherwise think so yeah my advice take some notes with you it's only small so the, the park itself isn't that big so you're not going to get lost but just to avoid having to worry about sort of backtracking and all those sorts of things yeah better off take some notes and uh that's why you'll be able to follow the track that i've run today i'm just about ready to go back over the bridge and after the bridge i'm going to hook up after about oh, 30 meters, 40, 40 meters after the bridge is going to be exit track, which will take me back up to the car park up on Oregon Road. So that's it for me today, Oregon Mountain Bike.